Hi, my name is Greg Gillis. I'm Vice President with Adish Technologies. And I'm often asked, what is an APU? And so I'd like to take a few minutes and uh, discuss with you the whole concept of an APU or an Adage packaged unit. What you have here behind me is one of those such units. Essentially what an Adage package unit is, it's a pre-designed, pre-packaged, pre-engineered treatment system for a variety of different types of uh, removal of contaminants from different types of waters. Most of these situations involve removing either one or multiple different types of contaminants. And essentially, you can see that uh, in this particular application, there are three vessels here in this configuration of the more like a filter system, if you will. And the flow is basically split between these three vessels, and the sizing for this type of unit is certainly proportional to the type of uh, size that you have for a particular site. So for a very small site with a low flow capacity, this unit would be much smaller. This site type of unit is set for somewhere around 200 gallon a minute flow rate for a typical contaminant like iron and manganese removal. The concept of the prepackaged APU is as follows. You can see that the unit is completely preassembled. It's skid mounted. It's all pre-piped. In this case, it's an automated system, and I'll talk about that in just a moment. It is all completely pre-wired and pre-shop tested before it arrives at a job site. Now, the advantages for, of that are many. One is that it can arrive at a job site with very little installation by a general contractor or an installer. The other advantage is the fact that this can be pre-assembled and pre-shop tested prior to even being, uh, arriving at a job site or being offloaded, and therefore the advantage of saving time in a typical uh, installation and startup. Now, these kinds of uh, units, these APUs, can be used for a variety of different kinds of contaminants. So on the outside, they may look very similar in, in, in look and feel. However, on the inside, there are different types of products, medias, and other kinds of things that actually do the work of removing the contaminants from the water that you're trying to treat. In some cases, we could use these for arsenic removal. The product can be used for fluoride treatment for removing iron and manganese, uranium, radium treatment, all kinds of things. So what you have here is a concept that can be delivered in a very small package or in a large package depending upon the size of the flow. The idea though is to take the information from the customer, from you, whether it be your water quality, site specific information, the space requirements that you have at the site, and to be able to fit a package and customize a package to meet your particular needs. That's the concept. Now, some cases where the APU will not be the most appropriate option because maybe the building size is very small and maybe there's just an opening in the door that may be a three foot wide opening. And so something like this may not be practical. So we look at those types of factors when we're trying to do the original design uh, of the system to come up with the right solution for your particular application. The idea here is we can make many different modifications to this to suit a particular customer's needs and their budget. So if you have a certain situation with a certain flow rate of say three, four, five hundred gallons a minute that's required, we just adjust the number of vessels, the number of size of those vessels, and can accommodate that particular flow. There are many other options associated with this type of an APU concept. As you can see, this one behind me has a little bit more of an up, uh, upscale version of piping, or let's say the, uh, an upgraded piping configuration using stainless steel. Now, in many cases, that's not required, and so we use things like Schedule 80 PVC or other materials. In this case, this would be more for a high pressure application or something that would require a little more upgraded uh, piping configuration. The other thing that we can do is that in some cases for our small systems we can use composite or FRP type vessels instead of using a carbon steel vessel. So there are many different options in terms of piping, in terms of valves, and you can see this is all skid mounted and pre-piped and, and so forth, which is the common denominator of the APU. Now something that uh, is worth noting as well is that they can come in a variety of different um, ways to automate or not automate the system. In this case, what I'm showing here behind me is a system that is 
uh, is automated with a PLC type control panel that would automate the functions of the various valves on the system. So what we have is a, an enclosure here that contains the, the brains, if you will, of the system, which is a, in this case an Allen Bradley based PLC system that has an interface on the front of, this, front of the panel for the operator to see exactly what's happening, the positions of valves, the functions of the systems, the flow rates, the uh, gallons processed, and so forth. So it makes it very, very simple for an operator to, uh, to operate a system like this. Other systems where there is um, a desire for simply a, a very simple manual system, that can be accomplished as well. So there are other features that can be incorporated into these APUs to accommodate a particular site's need or their budget. Now, the other thing that's important in the same concept is that looking at whether there's one vessel, two vessel, three vessel configuration, these same systems, even though they look very similar from the outside, inside they would contain perhaps a different type of media or product that would be designed to take a particular contaminant out of the water, whether that be for fluoride removal or arsenic removal or iron and manganese reduction or uranium treatment. Each of those would require a little bit different process. So what Adage does is we will customize your particular application and customize that equipment to meet that particular need. Now, along with that, which is not shown here, are things that are on the front end, like chemical feed and pH adjustment and other kinds of ancillary equipment that can be, a, be uh, supplemental to the APU itself that it can be completely integrated with that APU. So there can be a complete functioning unit. So depending, again, of course, on what we're trying to accomplish at your particular job site, we can then adapt other equipment to this. And then that equipment can also communicate with the central control panel and have a complete functioning unit that where the component A talks to component B and component C, and it works together as a single unit. 